Continuation of the definition of a quadratic function. Aside from the equation, quadratic function can be defined through table of values. When identifying a table of values, even if it is a quadratic function, we need to use the second difference method. The second difference method of any consecutive function values of y are equal. The second difference of any successive first difference of any consecutive y values is constant or the same. In short, once you get the second difference of any successive first difference of the y values, and if it's the same or consistent or constant, then it is a quadratic function. Example A. Verify if the following table of values represent quadratic functions or not. Example number one. X values are the following. Negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two. And its corresponding Y values respectively are negative three, negative six, negative seven, negative six, and negative three. Let's get the first difference. So you'll subtract or get the difference of the succeeding y values. So you start with negative 3 minus negative 6, then followed by negative 6 minus negative 7, then negative 7 minus negative 6, and then negative 6 minus negative 3. Negative 3 minus negative 6 is 3. Negative 6 minus negative 7 is 1. And negative 7 minus negative 6 is negative 1. While negative 6 minus negative 3 is negative 3. Next, proceed to the second difference. Subtract 3 with 1, and then subtract 1 with negative 1, and subtract negative 1 with negative 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. 1 minus negative 1 is also 2. And negative 1 minus negative 3 is 2. And as you can see, the second difference is the same or constant. Therefore, we could say that the given table of values is a quadratic function. Take note that the second difference of any consecutive y values in a given table of values of a quadratic function must be constant. Example number 2. The values of x are negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And the values of y respectively are negative 5, negative 1, 4, 9, and 11. Let's get the first difference. Negative 5 minus negative 1, that's negative 4. Negative 1 minus 4, that's negative 5. 4 minus 9, that's negative 5. And lastly, 9 minus 11 is negative 2. Let's proceed to the second difference. So let's start. Negative 4 minus negative 5, that's 1. Negative 5 minus negative 5, that's 0. Negative 5 minus negative 2, that's negative 3. And as you can see, the second difference are not the same or not constant. So if it's not the same, we could say that the given table of values does not represent a quadratic function because the second difference is not the same or not constant. Again, the second difference of any consecutive y values in a given table of values of a quadratic function is always constant.
we could also define a quadratic function using its graph. The graph of a quadratic function is called the parabola. A parabola is a curved line with one vertex. The parabola in a quadratic fun function opens up or down only. Again, the parabola is a curved line with one vertex and it opens up or down only. Example B. Determine whether it is a quadratic function or not a quadratic function. Example number one. The graph shown below is a curved line, but it has many curves. So the graph is not a quadratic function. This is an example of a polynomial function. Again, the graph below is not a quadratic function. Number two. The graph shows a curved line and it opens widely downward, so the graph is considered as a quadratic function. Example number three. The graph is a curved line and it has one vertex, but it opens widely to the right. And at the same time, it fails the vertical line test. So it is not a quadratic function. Number four, the graph is a curved line and it opens widely outward. So it is an example of a quadratic function.